So for step 26, attaching the front gearbox, you're going to notice one big difference is that all the screws are coming from the top and going into the chassis. Whereas in the last step, when we put the rear gearbox on, we had screws coming from the top and screws coming from the bottom. So that's interesting. Uh, but the other two things we're going to need to do is attach the steering linkage and put in our propeller shaft and grease that up. So I've got our screws ready. We've got three of the MA5s that are needed. But I think what we'll do is I will grease up the propeller shaft and then we'll attach this because you're not going to be able to put that in after the fact. It's going to have to go in at the same time. So we'll set this up and let's get to work. So first of all, here's our propeller shaft. So let's grease up the shaft. And we'll do the same on the other side. It's an interesting design because this propeller shaft is pretty like thin. I was quite surprised when I was looking at this kit just how thin this drive shaft um, was. But it must do the trick. And I know that this chassis is extremely popular. It's a favorite amongst a lot of Tamiya hobbyists. So it must be good. So now here's our drive shaft. And you can see that we're gonna to need to put it into here. So I'll do just that, there we go. And now this side is gonna go on and you can see that there are two holes and then the one right here, which gets fitted up with this extension piece. So that's gonna go in at the same time, but we're gonna to have to put that into there before we drop it down. So technically you can see in terms of placement, it's in place right now. So it's just gonna be a matter of tightening these three screws and it will be in place. It's a really cool design and I, I love the just the red and the black and then of course now we've got the blue, but this is very cool. So let's just screw these in place now. I'm just popping them in for now. Whoops, let's get that out. Maybe what we'll do is let's just screw the other two in first. So if we put that one in, screw it in temporarily. Same thing with that one, screw it in temporarily. And then grab the other screw. I'm going to put that one in there and screw that one down temporarily. So that is how you'll see it. There's two there and then one off to the side. So now that it is more or less in place, let's finish off screwing this in. And I'm just going to go side to side. I don't want to screw one in all at once. These two are the main ones, so I want to just make sure they're in place. And I'm just going back and forth so that they're going down even. Starting to get some pullback now, so I know we're near the end. Yep. And now we'll just finish off with this side one. So there we go. There is our front gearbox in place. So there is the chassis so far. And I mean, that looks so cool. We're getting closer and closer to finishing this one. So that's awesome. Love it. So the next part of this step is attaching the steering linkage and uh, zip tying the wires. Well, I'm not going to do that just yet. I tend to like to wait until I finish the build completely before I start tying things down um, more permanently. And with this step, um, if we do this now and then discover it's not right, we're going to have to pop them off again. And I don't like the extra wear of having to snap them on and then snap them off and then snap them on. So 
technically, from my point of view, step 26 is complete. And we can now move on to step 27, which is the steering adjustment. And as you can see, it's showing you what it should look like. I'll play around with it first before snapping it in place. So we'll take a look at that once we get to step 27 next. Thank you. 